Okay, in today's video we're having a look inside a uh, Yaesu G um, 2800 that was sent in for repair. On When I received it, um, it um, was working. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm about to, I've stripped it down this far and I decided to um, film the rest of this because I had a, a suspicion that there of a predominant problem that may be occurring because I've had two other ones in this uh, this last month and I had a similar problem so I decided to videotape this one to see where we're up to and see if there's what the problem is so not a problem so I've actually stripped it down um, I'm going to use the, the top casing here to sit the actual the internals into so I can disassemble it without damaging these little tines here and, and the limit switches and stuff so I'll just sit them in, in here and I'll just Bear with me while I just align all these gears. I'm just drop them back into there. The wires are the road. Okay, there we are. So we gotta get the um, the main bolts out. Take them out of there. Hopefully the whole thing doesn't fall apart. Okay, one more to go. Okay, so we'll get that out of there. If it decides to come off, there we go. Right, there's some motor unit. We'll just slide that back over there on the road. Okie dokie. Right, yeah. so, basically now, we need to remove the little C-clip and I didn't get in the right location the little C-clip in here we just get that out of there without flying across the paddock but yeah and then I dropped it where did it go to? oh there it is okay put him in the tray so we don't lose him okay so pull out the pinion gear Engine gear looks okay, it's got the grease all over it, so it doesn't look damaged. Okay, now when we go down in here, we have the, um, the VK spring. Hopefully, I can get this focused. We'll pull the VK spring out. There we go. VK spring looks in good condition. Got plenty of grease on it. Okay, not a problem. Okay, this is the, this is the the suspect item, the BK rotor or BK butterfly. Yep, as I suspected, it is loose. That is flopping backwards and forwards, and which means the grub screw is loose. You can actually see if you get there. You can actually see the top of the right there. We put the screwdriver in. That's the top of the um, the cutaway. That's moving up and down. So okay, so let's um, change my driver out of there. Well, oh, might move it out a bit my way. Let's get this out of here. Let's get the uh, BK drum out of the road. Come on. So that's coming out. Slippery gloves. Come out of here a little bigger. Genuinely, oh, I need grease everywhere. Okay, right, break drum out. We might get this housing, uh, the sub shady off because we need to get that out of the road to realign this anyway. So, now there, and the tray. We'll have to clean all this up and everything. So. This is just basically a strip down to identify the problem. Okay, so, oh, I didn't get me um, Allen key, so I'm going to put the Allen key. Okay, so grab that over there. And as you can see, I'm going to just nip it a little bit there. Wow, it's a bit, yep, just see it, just moving up and down. And actually, if I hold the shaft, you can see how much it's actually moving backwards and forwards without moving the shaft. So yeah, wow. 
So this is like what was causing the problem, it was jumping up and down and may have been dislodging from the BK spring. So okay, well, I've identified the problem, so I'll get this out of here now. And uh, I'll have to clean everything up. So yeah, this, this, and this is, uh, well, the last three that I did, last two I should say, the last two I did, which now includes this one, the third one, all had the same issue. Um, and by the looks of things, when I do a bit of a quick clean up here on this, it doesn't look like there's any Loctite. I'm going to remove the grub screw. Give me this grease off here. I'm going to have a look at this. Have a look at this uh, grub screw and physically see if there's actually any Loctite on it. Uh, there was something, but it was very minimal. Probably can't see it in this light, but there was a little bit of something there, but not a lot. It's a little speck right in the very middle. You can probably just see it there. Ever so small amount. Nowhere near enough. And definitely not enough on the end of it. I normally put some on the very end. And then it'll actually help grab the shaft. As you can see when we pick up the motor. There's a cutaway. Put your finger behind that one. You can probably see it better. See the square cutaway in there. I'll focus on this. So yeah, um, and yeah, actually when you look into there, you can actually see where it's been sliding up and down. And I dare say it's probably got a bit of a mark there too as well, where it's actually where it used to be. It's probably, probably can't, I can see it, but it's probably very hard, with reflections coming off it. There's a slight elongation of a hole there, oh, a dent, I'm sure. well not so much a dent, but a, a mark. Okay, well that's identified that little issue. That's the number three, which has the same problem. So, and I, I have been getting these problems with the uh, the G one thousands and the G eight hundreds as well, where the um, the BK rotor has been coming loose. Um, I've had it in uh, the imitators as well, but not as bad because they tend to use a lot more Loctite on theirs. Um, but yeah, they have the same they have the same imitator and, and Yota have a very similar system. So, okay, well that's it. Um, we've identified the problem. Um, I'll have to go ahead and clean all this up. Uh, report back to the customer and um, yeah we can uh, get this thing all um, serviced I'm going to do a complete strip down all the gearings and I can't I'm not doing it today I just want to get this out of the road and just to film this, um, this little problem we had um, so not a problem so I'm going to go ahead and clean this all up um, today and um, report back to the customer okay no problem thank you very much for looking and um, we'll catch you later bye